Okay, so we moved over. The carts over there had the perennials on there we were showing you. This is where the everybody's been planting them. They, got the, they get the potting soil up here, dump it out, scoop it in there, put the perennial or whatever you're planting, get the tag. They got the carrying tray here, and they fill them up and then put them on the cart, and it's ready to go into the glass house. This happens to be a pink phlox and a blue phlox. It's a perennial. Um, they come back every year. It's a ground cover, stays low, and they'll have a real cool uh, carpet of uh, pink flowers that'll bloom in early spring. The only thing bad about them is they don't bloom all summer, but they're, they're real pretty and colorful early. Okay, hi, I'm Ethan, and I'm here to talk about these four and a half pots. So they come in in big pallet loads of them. They're all stacked up. So we unstack these pots. Um, they go into these flats, which there's 15 of them in a flat, and we load them onto these pallets. We have five in a stack, and there's five um, five rows, and then it turns out to be 1,500 on a pallet, and we do many, many, many pallets of these. And there's 100 flats per pallet, yeah. 1,500 pots in this greenhouse. How many did we just figure? Uh, there's like 13,000 right behind me just on like five or six pallets here. And I mean, that's not all we have in the greenhouse. That's just this one little set. Yeah. And if you have any questions, like my shirt says, Bo knows. Hey, we're in the geranium house, and these are newly planted geraniums that we planted a couple of days ago. And we did it right here on the bench. So we took, we just poked a little hole right here in the pot and just took the rooted plants and we stuck them in there. They came in as a cutting. It's a zonal, zonal geranium. So they were in the, um, the um, seed house in 24 with the heated bench um, when they came in and they didn't have any roots at all. So then um, mom got them in little plug trays and then they got the roots. So they got bigger than the plug tray. So then the girls planted them in each one of these and they're already in the, the flood benches so we learned about water in last time and they don't like water over the top so we can already set them up for water down below well more four and a half inch talk we got New Guinea and Patience um, we were behind on the four and a half inch pots we were they were waiting on them to get shipped so when they finally did get here we were behind on getting stuff planted in four and a halfs so this last week or so has been trying to catch up with those. We got lots of New Guineas planted in four and a half. We got the New Guineas that we saw a few weeks ago that were in 24. So um, some of the baskets have been planted back over there in the retail. There's just a bunch of baskets that got filled and got the hangers. So we're going to show you just a couple of things in the uh, seed house and um, how things are greening up in there. Here we are back in the seed house. Number 24, just thought you guys would like to see some of this stuff that's blooming. We got some verbenia, calbacos, petunias, all these are going to go in hanging baskets. We got a plug tray here of tomatoes that mom planted that's getting tall. It's going to be ready to transplant. So, you know, we, we're getting to see a little bit of green here. It's getting us excited. We thought you'd want to see some too. And so, if you have any questions, don't you know? Bo knows. So, if you got any questions, put them down in the comments. Like, tag, share, look at us on Facebook, Instagram, check out the YouTube page, and thanks for watching.